So, what's up? Uh, today I have a really quick video. I didn't really do much today. It's kind of been uh, some grading and some, some work that I had to do or that I had pending. And so I don't really have any action pack shots or anything outdoors to show you. But um, what I wanted to talk about though was it's nice to see a little bit of engagement in the comment section of my videos. Um, I was in the video that I posted about having difficulty uploading. I got a few suggestions uh, from you know a follower, and one of them was, "Hey, maybe you should buy a um, SSD, and that way you can like transfer, store all these videos for future uses, and also to clear space up in the computer, which I am heavily considering." Um, you know, they were trying to offer solutions for the problem that I'm having. But the one thing that, that I did find that I could apply was, uh, and this is going to sound terrible for some people, but um, it is reducing the quality of the videos. So what I mean by that is not going below HD, but before I don't know in what um, format and what resolution the videos were recording, the files were extremely large though. So now what I did on the camera is lower the resolution to I believe 720p and then the same thing on the computer when I'm, when I'm working on um, After Effects, I am rendering the video out to 720p. So previously when I was working with 1080p or trying to render out to 1080p, the video would take about, I mean, you guys saw, saw the issues, it took about six to eight hours to render a video and i don't know if it was because of my computer because of the video but i don't know but it, that's how long it took whereas yesterday's video when i rendered it out um it probably took 30 minutes i i believe that that's about how long it took and it was a little bit of a longer or, or it was a little bit longer than the previous video like the previous one had been five minutes this one was maybe like six and a half so yeah significantly shorter just by going from 1080 with all the extras to 720p so i think that for now what i'm going to do is that um and part of the reason is i'm really trying to build out the channel i'm really trying to get you guys to uh you know like comment and subscribe to the channel if you're still watching please go ahead and at least drop a like or drop a, a subscribe to the channel real quick i really appreciate that because it helps grow the channel as, as quickly as I would like it to. Um, so anyways, that brings the next argument or the next point to the idea of quantity versus quality or quality versus quantity. A lot of people talk about this and you know, I, I spent a little bit of time reading about it and looking at, at videos on YouTube about the issue because I wanted to, to know what people felt like. And based on the research, it seems that the decision that I'm making is, is quite right for individuals so this is more so for individuals not corporations it seems that quantity uh, wins over quality when it comes to your possibility for growing your youtube channel um and, and it makes logical sense at the end of the day if you're publishing you know a video every single day the chances of you getting you know some eyeballs on it are going to be much higher than the person that's just publishing one video per week or two videos uh, per week so I do think that right now that that can work out. I'd say that right now, the, the quality that I'd be offering would be probably like a five or six out of 10. Uh, talking about the time spent on the video, you know, you have a little bit of music, the lighting seems all right, the camera is a, a, a quality camera doing the recording. So quality wise, it's not, it's not a bad video. Um, you might not have the extra production value like b-roll uh, extra scenes a lot of movement you know fancy gear operating the camera um, that might make like some of these videos a little bit more quality so i understand how how that could maybe affect or impact uh, a channel however i do think that as of right now and looking at it from this perspective being able to publish something every single day um can work in my best interest for what we're trying to do here. So, um, so yeah, so I solved the problem. I think that the, the quantity versus quality, quantity is going to win out and, and be in my best interest at the moment. And 
based on what I researched, I'm gonna to link to a video that I was watching. I think the, the last video that I watched was actually pretty interesting. Um, so I'm gonna put a link to it down in the description. Uh, but the, the YouTuber that made it basically breaks down what I'm talking about right now into more detail. She actually does the research and quantifies how much more um, quantity has an effect over your growth as a channel than quality. And based on her video, based on what I read, my advice to anybody who's trying to you do a YouTube channel or maybe even um, an Instagram or any kind of social media uh, activity, I would recommend that in the beginning, you focus on quantity. Uh, at the end of the day, you're going to get better at what you do just by sheer practice. And then once you have built that audience, once you have built that momentum, then you can start focusing a little bit more on quality or, you know, a, manage a couple of things here and there, tweak some instances of what you do here and there, and then improve the, the quality in those small ways until you reach the perfect balance that you can have for your channel. And so with that, I'll leave you guys for today. It was a really quick, short one just to talk about that. And uh, if you got to this point, thank you. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe, it's down there. To the yeah this side or just drop a like that really helps the channel grow and pushes it out there to other people so they can watch and enjoy the same awesome peace